Hey guys, I'm Jordy, and with Mist of Pandaria raids fast approaching, I've got a full featured assignment sheet for both 10 and 25 man raids that me and my friend Saru have cooked up based off of many hours of raid testing on the beta. And oh man, did we outdo ourselves on this one. We'll get into all the features in a bit, but the big highlight here we've included, with his permission of course, the Foji raid assignments we core it that you can now plan out ahead of time using this new tab. All the boss's abilities and triggers, coupled with the roster import from the beginning of the sheet, allows you to create all of your cooldowns, timings, and alerts in here, and then simply export it and paste that string into the Wigora, and boom, all your alerts are in game and sent to your raiders to remind them to pop their cooldowns. Synapse Springs. Very exciting. Okay, this video is just going to go over the sheet. If you're looking for a link, it's up on my Patreon, as well as the Phase 1 Loot Prio Guide. Link's down below, and thanks for your support. Without it, I swear I would not be able to do this for a living. All right, I do want to mention this first sheet is just Mogushan Vaults, and we'll be releasing Heart of Fear and Terrace of the Endless Spring when those raids are closer to launch. But in the meantime, get to know this one, as it's the format that we'll be using for the rest of MOP. All right, let's get into it. First, we'll copy the sheet from the link, then go to this bar up top and click Allow Access. This gives the sheet permission to speak to external programs like Raid Helper. From here, you want to go to the Roster Import tab and read the instructions first, of course, but we'll start by clicking the Import using Raid Helper ID button to get the program running, and then click OK. Then we'll sign in, hit advanced, then go to the Saru Wow spreadsheet tools link at the bottom. It does say unsafe, I can assure you it's not. Then select all and finally continue. Okay, so if you use Raid Helper, like my guild does for slotting raids, you'll go to the composition tool and then pull the string of numbers in the URL and paste that into the box. Give it a second, and bam, there's my raid. Note, you want to be sure that the names here are the exact character names of your raiders in game, because if they're not, the raid alerts that you'll set up with the Foji Wigora won't work for them. All right, so we can assign flex status and spec. I know for Shexier and some other bosses, we'll be flexing up to six healers, so our Ellie Shaman will, much to his chagrin, have to go resto, and we mark that. Additionally, our warrior here, Flat, will be going tank on a couple fights like Amber Shaper and Shaw Fear, so we also do that. Okay, so before we leave this page, we have simple assignments shown on the sheet initially so you can see what they should look like. But if you want to clear all of them, hit the clear assignments button here and all the things that we've set up ahead of time will be erased so that you can fill them out yourself. I would do that once you've given the sheet a good look. Okay, the next tab is the cooldown planner. We'll come back to that towards the end. First, let's start tabbing through each page. First boss, Stone Guard. We've got what tanks are on which dogs, who's actively healing this fight, who's casting Bloodlust, Druid Symbiosis targets, Warlock gate positioning, and then, of course, who's assigned to which lane for the tiles, which is super important for maximum efficiency and quick tile activation. Then onto Fang, we've got the usual stuff as well as Lightning Fist Soakers, Shadow Phase Add CC assignments, and the recommended phase order listed here. Okay, so you might be asking, wait, where are all the cooldowns? Let's go back to the Foji MSV cooldown planner tab. And here, let's take a look at the stone guard and see exactly how we have cooldowns set up. We have rally and healing tide cooldowns just after 75% when the tiles deactivate the first time and everyone will have damage coming in from that dot. We have vigilance on the tanks to help them stay healthy and lots of cooldowns listed for everyone here. We loaded all the explosion cooldowns in this single line where everyone will hear the TTS say pop all defensives right at 61 seconds into the fight because according to every log I've looked at, three seconds later, the explosion should be happening. Now I have a video going over exactly how these all work on Foji's channel in case it's a bit confusing, but once you've set up all your cooldowns, you push this box at the top and this pop-up should appear. Here's your list of cooldowns and you just go to the game paste that into this box and boom, you're all set. Again, we're including this with the assignment sheet as well as these cooldowns so you can use them for your own raids. But of course, feel free to adjust based off of your own needs. Okay, so 
Back to the boss pages, we've got Garage All with positioning, and of course, who's in which shadow team. You'll likely only need one team long term, but we stocked you with enough boxes for two just in case, as well as the backups for each of them. Then onto Spirit Kings, Mass Dispel assignments, Purge assignments, ranged teams in charge of freeing the people from the pinning arrows, and who's assigned to keep Subutai stunned during his sleight of hand. Onto Elgon, we've got who's assigned to which energy charge, the soak groups for phase one, and a nifty box over here showing who hasn't been assigned to which energy charge yet. Helpful if you just can't figure out which one person you forgot to put in there. And finally, Will of the Emperor. We've got all of the positioning assignments, who's tanking what adds, who's in charge of all the rages, and all that other stuff that you'll need to make sure that your guys are organized and ready for. All right, well, that's it for the sheet. We opted to not include MRT stuff as getting it just right was a mountain of work that we were just able to offload to the very talented Foji while at the same time covering all the same functionality we had before. Let us know what you think. The link is below. Okay, and that's it for me. Like I said, Heart of Fear and Toes will be up on the Patreon page in the coming weeks and have an amazing mop launch and first couple weeks of raids. I'll be streaming all day long, every day, so come by and say hi, and I'll see you guys in the next one.